Hey gang, welcome back to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. This week we've got a 2007 film uh, that's pretty recent called Carved, the Slit-Mouthed Woman. The premise of Carved is that it's based on a really famous urban legend here in Japan. Uh, one that originated in the samurai era where uh, a woman had her uh, face slit from ear to ear. And uh, they've, they've adapted this and they brought it into the modern age. And what this woman does is that uh, she's very scary, obviously, and she wears a uh, white surgical mask, which uh, a lot of people wear in Japan when they have a cold or something. And she has a giant pair of scissors, and she steals children, she kidnaps them, and murders and mutilates them. I was really worried that Carved was going to end up being uh, very stereotypical of modern Japanese horror films, that it was going to rip off maybe The Ring or The Grudge. And while it seems familiar to a lot of what's been going on lately in Japanese horror, it's still entertaining enough on its own that it's able to kind of stand up on its own. I'm, I'm not saying that the movie is anything special. Um, I'm not saying it's horrible, though. For me, it was, it was average. I was, I was okay with it. Um, but that's amongst the problems that the film does have. Uh, some of the acting is questionable or laughable, and some of the plot points, rather, are almost plot holes. There, there seems to be that characters do things for no apparent reason and people seem to know things when you wonder how do they really know this and uh, it does take a leap of faith to kind of uh, sit down and watch the movie in, in some of these parts but beyond that uh, the movie is it's enjoyable it, it's got some definitely some scary moments in there um, the slip mouth woman herself the very cool <laughs> So Carved was released here in the States by Tartan Asia Extreme, and uh, the DVD overall is a great job on their part. Uh, looks great, sounds great, and uh, lots of nice extra features. There's a making of, some interviews with uh, people involved, uh, TV spots, uh, the original theatrical trailer, and some trailers for other Tartan releases. So uh, definitely, yeah, another uh, good DVD by their standards. In the end, Carve didn't really change the way that I feel about Japanese horror, and it didn't bring that much new to the scene. But I had an enjoyable evening with friends watching it, certainly. Uh, you can't take the film too seriously. And I think all of us, you know, even though we felt it wasn't, you know, the best, I think we were all kind of surprised that it was actually managed to be as good as it was, you know, in the end. Uh, because eventually, you know, the film does have some interesting and some scary moments as it moves along. So Carved, yeah, you know, if you see it, you know, I think maybe it's worth giving a shot. So thanks for joining me on this review. We'll see you next time. So we finally reached the lair of the slit-mouthed woman. Where are the children? This actually isn't a lair. It's my bathroom. There are no children in here. But if there were...